Nathan, I think I fucked up my map already. If I have volcanoes, then I need... So I'm having volcanoes, which means I have tectonic plate movement. And if I'm making my island about the same size as Queensland, and my thought process is if I have the mountains up the top and the forest up the top of the country, yes, country, and then at the bottom was my initial thought, was where I'd put the volcanoes, because I have some little islands down there. I was like, what am I going to do with them? So then I thought, I'll turn them into volcanoes. But I have other islands in the north, near the mountains, that, that could also be volcanoes. Okay. I failed let's, geology. Uh, let's, let's try a different point. Are these active volcanoes? Don't ask hard questions, Nathan. Are they liable to go off in the next 10, 20 years? That depends on the state of the fire dragons that are living in the volcanoes. Okay, so that's different, because we can tweak yeah. that because you've got fire dragons, so that changes it. Because okay. if they are dormant volcanoes or things like that, because you've got things like the Galapagos, Mm -hmm. which, which is, move which move <laughs> because they're not actually on the tectonic plate boundary it's a it's little it's basically a little easier in the top comes up volcano goes off and then it moves off there's no more magma underneath it so it cools down as they get further away they start changing that's why the furthest ones from the hot spot are forest and thing like that okay so if those ones are moving you can get away with it pretty easily it depends on how old your volcano is. So, let's 